And now for today's Bible question. Today we've been learning about the day of reckoning. We saw how Zacchaeus had a reckoning with Jesus and was willing to give up his earthly wealth to be a faithful follower of Jesus. We also learned that we are responsible for the stewardship of our lives and of the gospel, and one day we shall give an account and be judged according to how we lived in this world. Someone might ask the question, what awards will Christians receive when they get to heaven? In today's lesson, the Lord told a parable about some who were left with money until their master returned and asked them to give an account of how they had used the money. Some did invest the money and produced more. Because these were faithful and made a profit, they were given greater responsibility in the kingdom to rule over cities. They went from managing some money to ruling over a number of cities. This teaches us that when a Christian faithfully serves his Master and Lord, he will be rewarded with much greater responsibilities in the everlasting kingdom of our Lord. We cannot be sure if the Lord intends us to rule over cities, but there is a scripture that says we shall reign with him, Revelation chapter 20 verse 6, so this might indicate the type of reward and responsibilities we shall have in the future kingdom. The Bible teaches us that there will be something called the judgment seat of Christ. At this judgment, all the believers will appear before the Lord, and he will judge them according to their works. If their works were of no spiritual value, they will be burned up with fire. This could be things that look to be a service for God, but were actually motivated by selfishness, pride, or money. Those works which are done for the right motive for the Lord will be rewarded greatly. A careful reading of the Bible will show us that God is very generous to his children who love him and serve him faithfully. We can think of someone like Abraham who pleased the Lord when he was willing to give up his beloved son Isaac on the altar of sacrifice. Because Abraham loved God so much that he was willing to give up his son, God blessed him and all his descendants from that time until the present. King David wanted to build a temple to honor the Lord, and the Lord said he was going to establish David's throne forever, and one of his children would be an everlasting king on his throne. When King Solomon asked the Lord for wisdom to govern over the nation, God was pleased with his request and gave him more wisdom than any other man and also gave him riches and a peaceful reign. Yes, God is very generous in his dealings with his children, and when we do things that please God, he will abundantly bless us with eternal riches that will never fade away. What a wonderful hope the believer has of gaining such bountiful rewards from the Lord. However, we need to be aware that the rewards are granted to those who are faithful in their service for Christ and behave in ways that please the Lord. Christians who are still attached to this world and their own wealth and comfort cannot expect to look forward to the same rewards as those who love and serve God faithfully. I cannot imagine that anyone will be disappointed when they get to heaven and their rewards are not as great as others, because heaven and eternal life are gifts that are so vastly great that no one shall ever think to complain. The Bible does tell us that some will suffer loss at the judgment seat when their works are burned up. I think there will be many surprises on that day, when the first shall be last and the last shall be first. Someone we did not think was making much impact for God's kingdom will suddenly move to the front of the line in heaven and receive great rewards. We wonder how or where did they earn that great reward, while others we assumed would be rewarded greatly are at the back of the line. Much of true Christianity is done in secret, feeding the poor, nursing the sick, visiting the sorrowing. These activities do not receive much attention in our world, but in heaven they are noticed and greatly valued. We look at some preachers in their fancy clothes and big talk, 
and perhaps think they will be ones who are going to receive the greatest rewards in heaven. But I think we shall be shocked to see that what was valued among men was an abomination to God, and they might make it to heaven all right, but they will be saved as by fire, because their works were all about the glory of man and not the glory of God. We do not know all that God has in store for his children, but we can be assured that our God is generous, and whatever he supplies to us will be much more than we ever deserved will bring us much joy in the ages to come. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. Revelation chapter 19 verse 20.